Welcome to program number two in the mechanical couplings and alignment series. In this program, we shall be dealing with grid type couplings, often referred to as bibby couplings. Please ensure that you have read the resource notes in your workbook, as this will help you to understand the subject matter fully. Stop the program each time you see either a discussion or practical sign on the screen. At this time, perform the self-test exercise as described in your workbook. We proceed with task number one, which provides a description of the bibby coupling and demonstrates procedures for dismantling, cleaning, inspection and reassembly. The coupling consists of two slotted half couplings. One or more grid type steel springs are used to connect the two half couplings. The spring is designed to sit neatly into the coupling slots. The unit is encased by two shrouds which serve to contain grease for lubrication purposes. A grease nipple is usually installed into one of the shrouds. On some types, to prevent the ingression of dirt and moisture, seals are installed within the shrouds and a gasket is installed between the two mating faces. Approximately once a year the coupling should be dismantled, cleaned, inspected and re-lubricated. Before commencing, note that it is standard practice to ensure that the plant is correctly isolated and tagged in accordance with safety regulations. When the machine is stationary, remove the safety guard. For purposes of demonstration, we are working on a totally isolated training model where the guards have already been removed. The first step for dismantling is to remove all the shroud fastening bolts and store them safely. The shrouds are then separated. Note that no gaskets or seals are fitted on this particular unit. Some units do, however, contain O-rings and a face gasket. Be careful not to damage these when dismantling. Clean off all old grease. and then, using a suitable pry bar, hook out the spring grids. There are four separate sections on this particular assembly. On smaller units, you may only find one or two sections. All components should now be thoroughly cleaned using suitable safe solvents. Ensure that the coupling slots are well cleaned and that no debris is left that could interfere with the spring seating. When all parts are clean, inspect each component for signs of obvious wear or damage. The spring segments should be inspected for any damage, such as cracking. They should also fit correctly into the half coupling slots. Don't overlook items such as bolts, nuts and washers. They may seem insignificant, but let one come adrift through a bad thread and the plant could come to a standstill. Let's move on to the assembly procedure. Spring segments are replaced using minimum force. A plastic mallet will not damage the segments. Ensure that segments abut in a loop and do not overlap each other. On a four spring unit, the overlaying spring should be fitted in such a way that the end abutments do not coincide with the bottom layer abutments. Clean, fresh grease of the recommended type and grade is next packed around and into the spring area. Carefully align the two shrouds and then fit all fastening bolts and nuts loosely. Tighten in a cross or star sequence to ensure proper facing conformity.
wipe off surplus grease and remove all tools or equipment from the coupling area. Before running the machine, ensure that the safety guard is replaced. This concludes task number one. Stop the tape and perform the exercise as outlined in the workbook.